when I was on the street on drugs and borderline naked, a Muslim man found me. This Muslim man picked me up off the floor, carried me to his wife, his wife bathed me, dressed me, fed me, loved me and took me somewhere that I could be safe. My son goes to a predominantly Muslim nursery. All of the staff are Muslim. Those women would lay down their life to protect my son. They love him like their own. When he is not well or he's poorly, he is absent, they will ring me throughout the day to check in and just say, oh, how's Ollie today? Is he doing okay? Are you doing okay? Cannot fathom the way the world is right now. I cannot fathom the audacity to say that Muslims are not making our country safe. I have never in my life felt so safe or so warm. Muslims are not making this country unsafe. Muslims are wonderful and kind and dignified and compassionate and generous and they are the pillars of so many communities. Anything you could think of, they provided it for us. And not once did it come with a Quran or a, an invitation to mosque. It came with kindness, compassion, dignity, love and warmth that some of us had never experienced. Those same men that claim to defend our country and want the best for our country, those sweet old men in their bomber jackets and their punk and their, their, their union jacks, and I know that's a bit of a generalisation, but if they can do it, so can I. Okay, it is those men that had me locked in a cubicle at my own place of work at a pub on 3pm on a Wednesday afternoon because I was so mentally sick of having my bum pinched and my hips touched and my face stroked and strange compliments and can you get that back at Chris down there? I'm pretty fucking angry that we have the audacity, the absolute audacity to tell one of the most beautiful, gentle religions that they are violent and a danger to our children. I'm pretty angry. And I think the thing that upsets me the most is that some of you clearly haven't read the Quran. Because once again, I have never felt unsafe at the hands of a Muslim, but I have felt unsafe at the hands of the likes of you. And I don't think that that's ever going to change.